here in the woods. But I thought, hey, I was down here filming a video and I thought, let's not try to go live too while we're at it. And then I saw this thing that said you could go live with another person. So I'm hoping this works. I failed twice already, but we'll see what happens. So far, there is nobody watching other than these cows, which are watching me live. And if it doesn't work, I guess we can say that it did. There we go. There's one thumbs up. So maybe that means somebody saw it come across there. Nobody's watching, but they gave it a thumbs up. So sure. Two and one person watching. That's good. That must mean this went successful. Nice cows. Well, they are pretty good, I think. I've been slowly, you know, weaning out the ones that were older or not having calves. And so it's coming along pretty good. Everybody's just enjoying a day in the sun. Hopefully, in just a minute, if you haven't been here since the beginning, there will be a guest going live with us because that is a thing. And we've been talking about it for a long time. And so I thought, let's just give her a go and see what happens. So we will wait on him to appear. And I've been out here. I actually filmed a full video on this. Not that interesting, but we went for a walk in the woods and I've been cleaning up trees and stuff. As you can see, there's many months of wood, ah, excuse me, wood cutting. So here we go. I just clicked add. So let's see if our Yeah, I'm here. Somebody the other day was saying, get a hold of that one guy from Michigan, that Oliver guy, and, and how come you two don't do videos together? Well, we tried it once, but we never had any views. So, you know, yeah, turns out I, I had it set to private. Well, that's the same <laughs> I thing I did just a minute ago. <laughs> I had it the last couple times I tried. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. And it will only let you do this vertical, which I think is strange. Like the Orient. Oh, I was going yeah, to try to connect with my GoPro, and uh, and it's not doing that. It's using the phone and the camera. Yeah. The camera and the phone. You and know the thing. When you go live together, it has to be vertical, which I think is strange because now there's less of the shot, but whatever. Yeah, I guess we're side by side. That, ooh. That's, ooh. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the internet can handle all that. I mean, here, everybody, <laughs> clear, clear your eyes, stare into the sun directly for, you know, five Hey, years. Bob, we have both of the knowers of all things Oliver. Hey, Craig. Hey, yes, we got, I wish I had an Oliver 55. Well, this here is a 550 that I've been using out here. You've seen many times. And it is handy as a pocket on a shirt with this little loader. You wouldn't think that it could accomplish much. It does. <laughs> Help, I'm scared. I'm scared too. <laughs> <laughs> they are together. Guys, yeah. Oh no, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. I don't know if I dare push buttons or uh, let's see. Well, I push that button. Oh, now all of a sudden. Right. You, you can turn the camera to... around. Yeah. Oh, I've got my cover, lens cover on. There, now you can see the GoPro that I was hoping there you to go. use. Go yeah. <laughs> Trying to make it work. I, I guess this is working this way. I better switch it back. They Come made on. this. Uh, they made this really user friendly, but you know. Mm -hmm. I guess so. everybody's on board for the, the great experiment. If you're just, uh, you know, <laughs> if we were like 18, 19 year old kids, I think we'd have this mastered. But you know. <laughs> at that age, I was master of many things. Yeah. But I was, I was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people, imagine, see, we're doing this over many miles of distance, but it gets even worse in person, I'm telling you. <laughs> <It> was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bye. 
Let's see. I have Ford Power and Farm All Power from JT's Chainsaw Shop. And Crow Ford Type Kid says, oh, no, they are together. I have one Ford, and that is it. And then I had a, I have farm a Ford Plow deal at one time, but never, never had any red ones here for whatever reason. Actually, so, I, have, I have two uh, Ford Plows. Two Ford Plows? Okay. Yeah. One's an Oliver built plow, and the other one I think is, in a, is a Ford with Oliver bottoms on it. Those are the ones with the longer hitch, aren't they? Where they? Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Which I don't with know. A small maybe, team. maybe you've said that before or whatever, but I always heard that they did that so they didn't work quite as good as the green ones because the closer coupling plows better. But I don't know. If that's yeah, that's, right. um, I never heard anything definitive, but yeah, <laughs> that's what dad always told me was uh, the closer you can keep the plow to the tractor, the easier it's Hello? Hello, Sue. Fran. <laughs> we can just make up. Oh, Fran. I'm sorry. I thought it was from. I thought maybe we could just make it up as we go along. <laughs> He's from um, hmm, someplace exotic like Kentucky. The Northeast. The Northeast. <laughs> the Northeast Kentucky? Or just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I'm going <laughs> to might as well turn this GoPro off as long as it's not doing anything. Okay, I think I better stop eating until this is over, or I'm going to have a mess to clean up or choke to death from laughing. Well, that <laughs> that is true. I I we have been together in person when he brought me that tractor, and I about killed him several times. He was choking on his lunch or whatever. So, oh, Craig. Yeah, yeah Craig. Hey, is that red bud blooming behind you? Just about. They. Oh, it did today. It did bloom today. Yeah. Yesterday I was no. out here and uh, everything you could tell was just on the verge of it, but it looks like overnight it pretty well came into it. So, yeah, um, our snow melted off today. So, <laughs> yeah, it's been the temperature here has been every temperature. It's been from like 80 degrees down to 20 degrees, and then every day's different. High wind yesterday was really high wind. Today's not too bad. Right now it's we had a lot. Of, yeah, I had a lot of high wind in the middle of last week. I was gonna shake on some uh, food for the wheat, and uh, it was just blowing so hard. I knew it wasn't gonna go where I wanted it. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> I haven't done wheat for the last several years, but I don't know. It seems like you have to have a good local market for it, and we just don't for whatever reason i mean they kind of go ahead they definitely like to screw the guys over on farm or on wheat <laughs> they uh they pretty well robbed me the last time they i sat in line forever while they did all their chemistry sets and they said you're gonna go and they unloaded it and then when they mailed me the check it was a dollar a bushel so Jeez. i, I would have taken it home for that you know so yeah, they don't uh, apparently don't really want it. I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Bettendorf, Iowa. Hey, that's near Blaine. Near Blaine, huh? I watch every day, but I would enjoy, I'd like to see you dig into the 55 EB and have it ready for harvest. Well, it took me 15 years to get it as far as it is now. <laughs> Don't, don't hold your breath on that, but it'll be ready for a harvest, but maybe not this harvest, you know. <laughs> maybe my last harvest it'll be ready for. Dang, we're almost gone live. It's, it's yeah. like girls gone wild, but with a lot That's right. Of be back out <laughs> your way soon. Meet me at the Mexican restaurant. I'll buy. Yeah. Mexican <laughs> restaurants. I can't say no to a Mexican restaurant. I'll tell you that. Hey, uh, when you ever come up here to get your parts, we got a real good one just down the road from us. So I'll take you to it. All right, that's a good idea. So, yeah, I all my going... greens have come through with this stream. Well, <laughs> my <laughs> my <laughs> urologist said that too. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, my uh... <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> 
I was going to say maybe we need some higher goals or something. Or <laughs> but Come on, I'm getting of a certain age, man. You know, yeah. <laughs> having a good stream is important. <laughs> That's right. Hello from Columbus, Georgia. What's going to happen to the Italian white? Well, as soon as I get the 550 out of the shed where I've got that for the other guy, then I, my plan is to put that in there and start working on that. But I need to do the projects that pay me before I work on my own stuff. So, and I'm woefully behind on all that anyway. So I did a service call yesterday and was going to film it and then forgot the camera. So that went well, but you know, <laughs> yeah. So you still have a whole load of treasures over here. Oh, I do. Yeah. Well, I think that there's several other people who have treasures over there that want to come see you too, but uh, uh, Craig's in Ohio, right? Yeah, he's in Ohio. He's he and Bandit live fairly close by each other, but I southern part of Ohio, I believe he can chime in and I mean, I don't know that he wants to put his address on here, but he can <laughs> say north, south, or west, but <laughs> Chrome Pipe Kid says, I like Chris's where I get my hard to find gaskets. I'm guessing that's where I went out in the woods to get my parts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The raw squat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You yep. got to watch out for those raw squatch. Watches. They're, they're probably they're going into their slow season. I think the mating season, you know, that's pretty well wrapped up. So, but, uh, <laughs> Two legends together, my day is complete. Hi from Southern Ontario, Lynchburg, Ohio, Southwest. Okay, that's what I. Oh hi, <laughs> Ohio. Yeah, hey, Amos, you beat you guys in hockey a couple weeks ago. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, we got a heart. I just saw a heart oh, float. Yeah, I was gonna say I just saw a heart fly by. So that there's another one. And another one. <laughs> Be still, my heart. <laughs> I better get my wife on here so she can see people actually like me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, you got at least 61. Well, that doesn't mean they all like you, but I'm going to say there's no, 60. No, they're willing to watch it. But it's you know. kind of like a car wreck. You know, people will tune in even yeah, if just, it ain't good news. To see what's happening. Yeah. To see the. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. That was one happy farmer. I believe that's Jeff, ain't it? He says, my two favorite Oliver guys. Yeah. I think one happy farmer. I saw he had, I think he had a video yesterday. Maybe I watched, I might be wrong on that. Might've been a while back. I don't know. All the days run together. What do you do? <laughs> Ooh, hey Ross, do you think a 16 Oliver 1600 gas could make a 550 mile round trip to the Mackinac bridge tractor crossing and make it back? Well, that's a question for you because you've been so. Well, it's all about the miles. Uh, I've got a neighbor. He drives uh, two years. Yeah, two years ago was the last time we did it. Last year, it didn't happen because the uh, they were working on the bridge deck. And uh, he not only uh, drove all the way from here to the bridge, it took him three days to get up there. Oh, he drove the tractor. From, he drove the tractor. And then from there, they went around the upper peninsula all the way around, drove through downtown Green Bay Sunday morning. He said, fortunately, everybody was at church, so it wasn't bad. Got on the uh, ferry with the tractors and then come across Lake Michigan and drove home from uh, uh, Manistee, Michigan, which is up there away still. They were gone for over a week. Oh, wow. They drove the whole way with, on the tractors. He also says, what would you check? Well, all the stuff, you know, yeah. all your yeah. all, all your hoses and belts and whatever. And I guess take Great. along stuff that you think is easy to fix alongside the road. But yeah, anything maybe can happen. With a machine, I mean. Yeah, you know. I would take a set of points and condenser with me just to be safe. Um, being a gasser, um, yeah, make sure your brakes are up to snuff. That's one thing they're always stressing for us. Is uh, man, there is some of the tractors. I'll look around at them; they look gorgeous, and then you look at the sediment bowl, and it's half full of crap. And yeah. You're like, you know, <laughs> I'm just pulled this out of the barn, slap some paint on it, and. So let's see. Oh man, they're coming in faster than I can read. Oh now. yeah. Let's see. Have you seen that seventy-seven orchard or marketplace? Yes, I've seen it in person. I know where it's at. It's at a like an equipment jockey, and he has a building that has like a front porch on it. And he had two or three Olivers all painted up, 
he might have even had a a Massey Ferguson with the Detroit, the <laughs> 990 and hiding. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's. I think he wanted what fifteen thousand for it. I don't think yeah, that's I've bad. Totally missed that one. Considering that it's all fixed up, you know. I'd, so. But let's see. 550 miles, say you ever, you're doing 10 miles an hour. That would take, what, 55 hours of driving? You want a fresh oil change? <laughs> yeah, fresh oil change. Uh, 55 hours of driving, that's like almost a work week, you know? Yeah. Let's see, uh, Ross, I'm um, far southwestern area of Washington County, Ohio, where it off. Let's see, Craig says, one of these days I would volunteer to drive and bring Ross up to see you. <laughs> he's got parts to pick up <laughs> he does somebody said something that i don't understand i'm sorry person i simpapa balubia una unama nila how dare you say that about my mother <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, if we don't it doesn't have the like when you leave comments on videos it usually has a translate button so if that is something in a different language I'm sorry, but Nama Mila, um, some pop, yeah, one. Uh, I think he wants one of those vanilla wafer crackers. Oh well, we can do um, that. Well, I guess they're technically a cookie, but <laughs> let's see. Hi from West Tennessee, awesome, just awesome. My two favorite farm guys, whole lot of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> so far, yeah. there's too much sadness today, but that can change at any minute, though. So. Yeah, my neighbor wanted to drive his Ford 3000 to the bridge. We live near Bay City. Now, the guy that lives near, near me, I mean, we're talking southern Michigan. He's driving farther than that. Um, I'm thinking about bringing it the opposite way from Burlington, Wisconsin to Mackinac and then down to Ludington to Manitowoc. That would work. I think the uh, Badger is supposed to be back on uh, up to ferrying people again this year. It broke down in the late summer last year. Hmm. Yeah. Be prepared for yeah, jack mosquito. I don't know. I've never been up yeah, to the... They get, they get big up there. Hmm. That's what Deep Arrow is off for. Uh, ooh, 44 Massey Orchard for sale. 28 grand. Ouch. Yeah, that's I'm trying pretty... to think what that... There was about a year and a half ago, there was a Massey Orchard that sold near... Maybe it was a high crop, but it was a collection was near me that... and... It was at that same auction where you were looking at that. Detroit 98. Car, yeah. 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 I, I figured being a non-runner, that would go a little cheaper. And that still brought 16 grand. What should I offer That's... for 1800 C gas? Probably about 3,500 bucks. is about the going rate. I mean. Yeah. For a runner. <laughs> depending on what, yeah. What kind of shape they're in. What is this? Well, we're yeah. trying to figure that out too. We were hoping someone I'll give else you dollars if you do a backflip. I don't think that that's going to happen. I mean, I I would love a thousand dollars, but oh, I don't. oh look, there it is. I didn't see enough, y'all. Now, y'all, does that mean both of us? Y'all, a thousand dollars. Is that five hundred a piece or a thousand each? Because it yeah, costs because whoa, oh. <laughs> to go into the emergency room. It's just a thousand. <laughs> so yeah. Guess what? Well, uh, let's see. Andy, I, I, that was my backflip. I, I'll take cash or check. They, uh, uh, what the hell is this? Well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's another thing about this vertical. It said on the settings that this appears in the shorts feed. So I assume there's other people that have never seen us before that are seeing us oh, yeah. and probably are not sure what's happening because. I, I don't know. I didn't give it a title. I guess I should have given it a title. Oh, uh, yeah. They're probably hoping we're playing video games. Yeah, we're not. Chicken butt. Parked in the shed for five years, not running. I think 3,500 might be a little steep for, I think for so. a five-year not running tractor. I would say a couple thousand would be your sweet spot there. I mean, Yeah. The Maybe most. 1,500. Depends on the sheet metal and tires. and. I don't know, when they're non-runners, I look at them as, uh, can I part this out and get my money back if for some reason, you know, I tear into it and the crank's broken or something like that. There's a lot of that, too. I mean, they look nice, but there's a lot of stuff that can be very wrong. <laughs> 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 like dating. I mean, yeah, exactly. You know, 
<laughs> when, when people say, when people say, I mean, every one I've ever drug out of the woods, somebody said, well, it ran when I parked it there. So, yeah, just because it's in the shed doesn't mean it's any better than, you know, other than the probably stay dry. Heck, these guys are the real deal. My farm sim 22 would be jealous. There you go. They are, they asking 3K, but uh, yeah, without the starter, uh, I think good that's sheet metal. Hard. Yeah, that's. I think that's a little steep. <laughs> of course, that's probably another starting point. Maybe you can get them down a little bit, but I would think more of the two to twenty five hundred. Now they're coming in all the time. I don't even understand what some of these mean. <laughs> Someone says, "Say get and I'll sub." Get what? Get get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Good day. <laughs> to the 1950 if you mean finding a 1950 i have not found one in my price range i saw one the other day that was very nice and he wanted twenty two thousand for a two-wheel drive yeah they've uh oh someone wants us to play Fortnite. well that's uh not gonna happen no i don't even i don't know how that works what is a what is a 770 gas with three point narrow front rear wheels well it's a tractor uh I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're definitely getting some uh, play Roblox. Boy, we're uh, we're getting some different crowd than I think we normally do. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe this isn't the place for us to go live together. I don't know. I mean, so I don't know. She's got a Giat and I'll sub. Man, well, we're going to get all these subbers. Buy a oh, PS5. Oh, yeah. Yeah, got some seven-year-olds in here. I think someone just, oh, we got a, we got a sub out of our Giat. Well, All right. Oh. Yeah, then let them comment on your videos. <laughs> That's fine. We'll take them all. I mean, $2,255 is my dream, and the Minneapolis Moline G1355. I, uh, I would like a $2,255, but I just haven't found one. Reasonable price. I remember back when you could have them for like $6,500, and now they're like $16,000 is the bargain price, so... Hmm. Yeah, well, she's going by fast again. Let's see. Oh, we got a sub out of the Giat guy. What is a Super 55 gas worth? That's just another haven't, one of those tough ones. I haven't <laughs> seen any Mountain Dew bottles in your videos lately. Did they cancel your sponsorship? They never did sponsor me, but my I think my body decided to unsponsor me from that. So I've been trying to drink less, but I still I had one out here a while ago, so. Don't worry about that. I'm feeling like I need to look the ad up on uh, Urban Dictionary. Yeah, we're probably <laughs> being insulted. and you know. Yeah. Uh, my wife is from the UP. I like to do the tractor drive sometime, but it probably won't happen until I'm retired. Two years ago, we came down across the Big Mac one week before the tractor drive. It's neat. Boy, it's worth going up there just to see the tractors, even if you don't cross. I mean, well, how many tractor well, shows have? Like 400. Well, or more than uh, that. 12, uh, they limited at 1,500. Oh, geez. And it was in 2,100. And 2021, they hit the limit. Uh, 2022, they were a little shy. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot to see in one place. I mean, 1,500 tractors. That, that's bigger than a county fair. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, both channels are great. Keep up the great work. My question is, I'm looking for the large Oliver Manure Spreader 470. Uh, were, were they made by Oliver or somebody else? I, I think men in, or, uh, Alice Chalmers made them, didn't they? It's possible. I know that um, I've got a 570, and it, what is it? It shows up, uh, I thought it was a Shelbyville product, but. Uh, but I've seen one of those in my lifetime around here, and it was already, somebody had been using it as a wood hauler and gutted it. It wasn't worth trying to save it but that's the only one i've ever seen it was a one of those big tandem ones is what uh you know we're talking about yeah. i don't know what the five the 570 and the 580 what was the difference between them just age i mine, think i was gonna say not really anything i don't think but i don't know i i was always told that a bunch of those spreaders were made by alice chalmers in laporte and that if you went there they made them for several different people, and they were all different colors painted there. So I don't know. Maybe that's 
Could be. Um, I do. My serial number list includes some Alice Chalmers, so that might explain that. Well, look at the heart. Someone's tapping away. Yeah, they're really. Craig says my 1800 C gas ran fine with Park and shop with the winner. I checked the oil a month ago, and the oil looks like chocolate and milk now. <laughs> I, have some, I have four in the shop that need a major overhaul. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't major overhaul that just yet. I would try some magic stuff in a can, unless you're going to go yeah, out and plow with it every day, because I have been impressed with how well that worked at different times. So. Yeah, that K-Seal stuff really seems to work exactly, good. My yeah. 1600 was getting just a little bit in it, and I'm like, I do not want to mess with overhauling this engine right now, and so I put some in it, and God, that's been years, and it hasn't leaked a drip since. The K-Seal is good, and then there's also... Uh, I don't remember what that stuff I used. It was in an orange metal can. It might have been K and W block seal. That works really good too, but you gotta flush it all out first before you use it. But it'll make new O rings where there are none. So that's worth a try. Yeah. I mean <laughs> Yeah, we got some uh, some wackadoodles here. Uh, so I'm reading through the comments and I'm not gonna read them all. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Roblox is a phone game. I will say I have actually played that with my nephew before. Really? It seems to be popular in the kindergarten to second grade level. I don't know. I mean, yeah, he was a lot younger when he played Roblox. Let's see. Super 99 GM and Massey Ferguson 98 GM. Those are the best. Yeah, I, I missed out on a Super a Massey 98 GM. That's been a few years, but it was at a local auction. It was pretty straight, and I should have put my bid in ahead of time because I ended up having a doctor's appointment right when the auction closed. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, if I remember right, a lot of that stuff on that auction was pretty rough, wasn't it? Or not? I mean, none of it ran, did it? I don't remember. I no, remember none of it. He, um, he'd been a collector for a long time in our area, and it just, you know, got up in years, and they all sat in the barn, and they just pulled it all out and sold it as is, and. So very little of it ran, but it seemed like all of it was still free. It had been kept inside and everything. That's oh, Scott good. Small Farming, are you leaving? He says, thanks, fellas, for all y'all's video, y'all's videos. Enjoyed watching. 27 well, of nonsense so far. So, yeah. <laughs> There's 119 people watching. <laughs> I think some of them are over the age of 20. Yeah. 30, 30, <laughs> Thank you. No. Hugh Perkins, two of my favorite guys. Thank you, Hugh. I think my 560 of Milky Oil wants K&W block seal is a challenge to use properly. Yes, you have to. It says on there what to do, but you have to flush it out where there's no antifreeze at all. I mean, several times or it won't work for whatever reason. The magical leprechauns can't handle the antifreeze residue or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I'm the guy who messaged you about the guy who said his 98 had a messy a mini mo rear end. That's a 97. Yeah, that, yeah, that's. I don't see how you could really make a um, make them two made up without a lot of work. No, because they're totally different. I mean, even that none of the sheet metal would interchange either. It's not even close. Those 97s are real long. I think. Yeah, yeah, they got that Moline engine, and then it's a Moline transmission, and just, I'm sure, you know, the bolt pattern, I don't know. Someone would have had to do some work to make that happen. Uh, I'll never say never. There's guys out there that are determined. Mm -hmm. I turn well, five tomorrow. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, Howie X. Good for you. Enjoy yeah. the carefree days of childhood, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Don't so. tell your parents what you heard here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot my emergency rooster clicker. I should. This was a spur of the moment go live. I bought all that stuff to prepare for this day, and then now I don't have it with me here. So Yeah, I'd uh, just gotten home and gotten your message about doing this, and so I kind of, you know, threw it 60, together. 65. Yeah, so we have from 5 oh, to 65, so. That's a good range. Yeah. How's it going? Well, it's going good. John Deere still sucks. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, uh, Let's yeah. see. Lane Luck, Luckhart says, what is one tractor that is not Oliver that you guys want in your fleet? Hmm. Mm, that's not, I didn't read that part right. Yeah. So that's not an Oliver. 
I'd yeah. have to think about that. I I don't know. I I guess if I had to pick one, I've talked about that before. A good sized muscle tractor, like a twelve oh six International. I think yeah. they're, they're really sharp looking when they have the flat top white fenders. And yeah, I like I the ones with the white fenders and the white wheel centers. Um, yeah, exactly. So I was going to say an Alice 220 front wheel assist until you said that. That's, <laughs> that's cool, too. The only bad thing about those, which I didn't know until working on them all the time, the 210 and the 220 is not shift on the go. It's gear to gear all the way. So it would be kind of unhandy to use it for anything, you know, in the field. Yeah. You'd have to you know, start out with your tool up and then slam your tool in as deep as you can go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> start screaming and then back off a little. <laughs> well, yeah, when you when you hear the screaming, you know that you've gone too deep. <laughs> oh, man, the, yeah, the comments are really getting <laughs> wild. Well, they slowed down, but you know, we still got 112 people watching. <laughs> I'm watching. I had trouble getting. Let's see. Okay. Da, da, da. Oh, that's. I, we're, I'm way behind on comments there. Everyone keeps telling me to come and swap. I don't know. I. I've thought that too. Like with that 1955, I have the motor is junk. I'm sure I haven't taken it apart to see, but I know it is. But what do you do? I like them original, so I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's kind of. I mean, the Cummins is a great engine, but uh, boy, still, you know, it's a uh, it's a lot of work to switch them, and uh, and yeah, I, I'm kind of the original flavor. I, I've got some Cummins power Cummins powered white, so you know, I can get my fix that way. <laughs> I worked on one for a guy that was a good example of why you shouldn't do that. There are some of them that are absolutely perfect, which I've said before, the the stuff that Maybach sells to do it is good because it's done in a way where if you saw it from a distance, you wouldn't know that it had ever been repowered. But some yeah. of that one I worked on, I don't think they'd left a piece alone. They didn't hack up to do something. I mean, it was basically not even a parts tractor anymore. If you took the Cummins motor out of it, there wouldn't be a whole lot you could save. I mean to use on an original tractor. I mean, so I don't know. I wouldn't be opposed to one that was done very nicely where you couldn't tell from a distance, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've talked to guys where there was ones done where things didn't get lined up well, and then the power shaft wears out fast or the, you know, the chain couplers taking a beating and, and Hey, I just switched my comments to all comments and wow. Facebook, or oh. YouTube was, uh, was oh, yeah. editing it was, a lot. It was censoring them? I don't know. I, yeah, it was. I don't even know how you do that. So maybe I've been seeing them all the whole time. Yeah, I just clicked down here at the bottom of the little pop-up live chat. All the messages, yeah, before it said top chat, some of us, uh, such as potential, van the, the, I can't talk, it's potential spam maybe uh, held out or something. Yeah, but. I see some potential spam in this feed of comments, but... <laughs> Uh, Let's see. Oh, somebody mm -hmm. says, I always laugh when you say pain in the Knutson. And everybody keeps <laughs> asking what what that came from. And it started as a joke between me and him right here. We I started using it because of Bunky Knutson, who was the guy who took over White and Moline and basically butchered everything. And so I will take his name in vain. And that is basically how that started. And then it got laughed, so I just kind of got into the habit of it. So yeah, old Bunky, Bunky Knudsen. Yeah. He came in from Ford Motor Company, and to straighten White out, he brought um, John uh, the really? Shenan Shenandoah or Shen Shenandoah. Yeah, I really Shenandoah, it's Shenoda, he, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> our pal who, who mispronounced it. But anyway, yeah, he's the guy who. If people are watching this and don't realize it, the Shenandota or however you say it guy is the one who is credited why we have like the boss, the field boss, because he was at Ford and did the boss Mustang. So he liked boss. Yeah, so. yeah he liked boss. Boss 302, 
all that boss stuff and, and he just carry he brought it with him why think up new stuff when you just have a new company to throw it at go to a new company and you only have to have the same five ideas you just yeah. <laughs> and they're all new yeah what about a perkins powered 1955 it would be a good tractor i mean essentially you got a 2105 really is I, what you got <laughs> i've seen i've seen people do it and again if it's done right you don't know that that's not the way it's supposed to be unless you really you know, know your stuff. And I also heard rumors and I don't remember who that was that told me that, but it was a guy around here who he swears the day that they bought it new, it had a Perkins in it. It was one of the last ones. Now, I don't know that I believe it, but I can't say that it didn't happen. I mean, it's There's a possible. guy I know here in Michigan that had a 1955 with a Perkins or no, it had a trunnion mount instead of the chain coupler. That's what it was. It was still the Waukesha frame and the Waukesha engine. And he said it was a bear because you could not get the engine ahead far enough to get the, the couplers to separate. <laughs> I guess it was easier the first time and then they didn't have to worry about it again. Yeah, maybe they just pulled the frame together. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Someone said something about uh, Bunky Bunky da, 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 about the. Uh, oh, is there any aftermarket companies that make a Waukesha 310 crank? I assume I not. I think Maybaugh makes some, but I don't know if they're just for pullers or what. But I know he um, the uh, journals end up pretty much being in the right spot for a Cummins engine to fit in a 310. That's and Brad what... said he was going to buy some raw blanks and uh, see about getting a machine to fit in a 310 engine. And I don't know where, where he got after that. At one time, Steiner's had a uh, cast iron replacement for it. I talked to um, Steiner at a show one time, and he said he... Just went over to Taiwan and had someone drive him around into an industrial area. He says, I looked for smokestacks until I found a foundry and went in and made a deal with him to make these crankshafts up. And that was how he, you know, did it. Uh, he, I, a phone call I might have worked we, a little better. Why don't we go over there to Taiwan and just tell them to drive us around until, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 we like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this factory love you long time. Yeah. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, farm mark, farmark, farmark, farm mark. So, who do you use for tech support now? Well, I'm still calling Roth, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's mixed, mixed results, you know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He had he had some trouble with using some of my advice. You'll see that in in an upcoming episode, but I still say he didn't follow the instructions and didn't hit it hard enough, but you know, when in doubt, blast it out. When, that's yeah. right. You know, it can't be tight Craig. if it's a liquid. So that's <laughs> uh, Craig says, Adam, I don't think a 354 Perkins will fit in the frame or tub. No, it will. You not have to swap the, the tub. You have to get you'd have to swap the tub or knock a lot of cast iron out. Yeah. It would be easier uh, to find see. a tub. Glenn says, if I put a Cummins in anything, it would be a BT 3.9. They got enough power and would not overpower the rear end. Yeah, um, I know Brad said on that. He did a couple, and, and they he are did. they are very vibration-prone, those little four-bangers. He's got a 1655 and, with a four, I think, in it, doesn't he? In his own collection. I think that was a six, but um, well, maybe it I don't is. know. Hmm. But, uh, I mean, it's not a bad engine, but, yeah, you're going to rattle some sheet metal with it. What Let's is my see, favorite right? tractor? I don't know. Yeah, just that, read that one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hard one. I mean, I like them all. The next one, I guess, is my favorite. I have to say, whatever one I'm driving at that moment. <laughs> yeah. How hard is it to swap a 1655 gas to a diesel? Well, front timing cover and head at the very least and all the stuff that goes with it. Yeah, you could you can convert the block if you're just switching a complete engine. It's a bold in procedure. You just need to um, what the air cleaner comes out in a different spot, doesn't it? You'd have to cut a new hole or get a different hood. And yeah. Then, uh, I want to say, is there a different? The fuel tank's different, but that's just because of it's got a return line. But I don't know. I'd have to look at mine if it's got the if it still has the the hole or if it's a totally different tank. There's something I mean, you about that because I got a different tank one time to put in mine for when the barn fell on it, and there's something yeah, you, different. You got a watch on sixteen? Uh, what did he, did he say? Sixteen fifty-five? Yeah, well, that yeah. Is so bad. 
the 1650s, they moved the uh, filler neck around on. And so you got to make sure you get the right tank that lines up with the hole in your hood. Which you could use your tank as long as the, as long as you got a place to tap in for the return. Yeah. You know? And a lot I mean, of those. Three... Go ahead. I was going to uh -oh. say, a lot of those diesel tanks had that little water trap deal in it too, which starts leaking after 50 years. So, yeah. I don't know. But, 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 you know, if you're swapping a complete engine, it's mostly a bold end deal. And if you're going to convert, you can convert the block to diesel. I did that on an 880. Um, or an 880 block from from gas to diesel. Um, you got to swap some plugs and parts around, but it it can be done. Ross, you bring VACK, the Northern Show in Anaka, me. Is that supposed to be Minnesota? M N, and not me. Oh, I'm scrolling. I'm so oh, to the show in Anoka, M E. That's Maine, ain't it? Well, Maybe it's I a type. Oh, no, of... Then he says Minnesota. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I had enough trouble just taking it to town to the fair. I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't look up and take it to Minnesota. If I took it to Minnesota, it might stay there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Can I get a shout out? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Biff. Biff on iPhone. Biff on iPhone. Well, you've gotten two shout outs now. Yeah, there you go. Your day is made. Beautiful men. That's right, ladies. Formalize. <laughs> now, can I click on her name or face? Oops. Oh, I can either report her or block her. I guess we won't do that now. <laughs> I hope it's a her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, Red Craig says my favorite Oliver is definitely my 1955. I like mine. It's a very nice original. I just love the sound of those three tens. The the fifty for that late fifty five series like that the large frame ones, they had her figured out. I think. I mean, everything on it is easy to reach, and it's they're just fun to drive. I mean, everything is effortless. You know. Yeah, they, they had most of them had the uh, had hydraulic the, uh, everything. I mean. Yep. Yep. Hydraulic brakes, Charlin steering for the majority of them, anyway. You know, it's just yeah, everything's right where it needs to be. Nice open platform. Yeah, they're. They're a nice tractor. And if you don't believe it, I mean, find other makes of that same year, like 1972, and get you one from Alice Chalmers and from Deer and everything and line them up. And if you really look at all the features, you can see how far ahead they were. I mean, tilt steering wheel, stuff like that. Nobody else had anything as good as that, I will argue. Oh, you know, and, already had had tilt steering for 10 years at that point. I know, yeah, and uh, <laughs> live power takeoff. I mean, there was a lot mm -hmm. of tractors in the 70s that did not have what I consider a true live power takeoff, where step on the clutch and everything keeps going. I mean, they had yeah. ways that you could kind of get live power takeoff, you know, hand clutch or whatever, but I, I don't know. They just, they had it figured out, I think, but if they would have just had a little bit more beef put into the 310 where it didn't get such a bad rap you know yeah chrome pipe kid says ross you have the 550 770 and 880 so when is the 440 and 660 well i guess whenever my you know youtube wallet really swells up and you know <laughs> takes off because i learned something i just did my taxes the other day and got that back and uncle sam does not like it when you're successful he he likes to punish you. So, yeah, you know, it's called, I guess, when you make more money at home than you do working for somebody else, you have to pay self-employment tax. And that is not a friendly yeah. thing. But anyway, I did several years ago. I missed out on a 660 that wasn't too far from here. But <laughs> I don't know. Old Iron, uh, Old Iron says Uncle Sam is a deer guy. <laughs> yeah, he must, he must be because, boy. <laughs> You know, and and it doesn't have, like I don't think that I like my tax lady. I would put her up against anybody because she knows the rules and goes to all the schools. But she is an older person. And all of this YouTube stuff, I think, is kind of mystifying to older people. I mean, like she said, she said, I knew this existed, but she said, I had no idea that you could make so much money from it. So I don't know. I mean. Maybe there's a better solution out there, but 
I just, all I heard when she said that was buy more tractors. So, you know. Yeah, that's what I do. 660. I don't know. 440. I'd love to have one of the, all of those, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. Adam, let's see. Yeah, miss, 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 uh, we're not going to read that one. No, we're not. We're going to skip over that because that's not true. Yeah. I think Oliver was ahead of IH on creature comforts, but I still take my IHs for durability in my hands. Let's see. There's a 660 in Kansas for sale. Oh, they're for, they come up. There's no doubt yeah. about that. Hey, all it's just the, the cost that they want. I have a problem with like 660s, 440, stuff like that. I'd like to have it, but what is it going to do around here when it's here? Sit there in one spot, 90% of yeah. the time. Not a lot I could do with it. Whereas like you've got this thing, which I use every day for something. I mean, so it's easier to justify spending a whole bunch of money on something if you can actually get it back through use. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Lane Luckhart says, I think it would have been really cool if White didn't abandon the Oliver CVT T transmission project when they were developing the 55 series tractor. I, I think the biggest problem and you can I was just thinking about this last night and you can chime in with your opinion. But I think that the biggest problem that they had was the technology did not exist to do what they were trying to do reliably because they were doing everything mechanically. And I always heard that when the oil got hot, you know, things act different when the oil heats up. And it was a constant battle of trying to get things to stay the way they're supposed to be and not creep. And, and now we take that for granted because you've got a computer that can constantly change your settings in a second. And I think that was probably their biggest thing with it. I mean, if they'd have been a lesser company, they probably would have just released it and not worried about it. But yeah, I'm um, <laughs> talking with Dean Barker, who was one of the engineers on it. Um, he said that was if they had the computers, he's been gone for a few years. So it's been a few years since I've talked to him about this. But if they had had the computer controls we have now, they could have made it work. But yeah, he said tractor, and, you know, the transmission would just suddenly take off uh, to do with viscosities and temperatures. And are you hearing me echo? <laughs> Because I'm hearing just, the echo. Now, just uh, but, just for a second there, you did one time, but the rest of the time it was fine. All right. Um, you but, got a little uh, fuzzy there, but that's okay. <laughs> but, yeah, that was their, their major hurdle where that was just controlling the fluid you know, under different temperatures. And um, But they had it pretty much worked out other than that. Um, they you know, had a brand new engine. And, I you know, I think we can take Knutson because that's who pretty much yep. killed the project. Yeah, they were, you know, everything was about ready to go, but they also were looking at uh, tool and dies, all the stuff they needed to set the factory up to build these tractors. This is going to be a whole new tractor, new engine, new transmission, new final drives. And, and so that required a, a whole new set of. In a factory that yeah. was already, what, 75 years old, at least 100 years old. So, I yeah. Mean, the it, engines were going to be built in Canton, Ohio. They built a new factory there, and I think they ended up selling that to Massey Ferguson or Perkins or something along that line. I, but uh, I was gonna yeah, say, so they, they never were even, they never built anything in that factory, did they? They pretty well sold it no. right away, didn't they? Yeah, it was about ready to go, and they sold that <laughs> off, and and you know, and they didn't even sell anything. It seems like they could have raised a few bucks trying to sell some of that stuff, but they hung on to it, and. Uh, <laughs> Was it, that was it for it. Bunky saw a way to save money on you know, it was gonna cost money to get this tractor ramped up to ready to go and they were hurting and I uh, who knows maybe it would have bankrupt them I'm trying to get everything before they could ever sell a single one so I don't know I mean it, it I think the biggest I don't want to say the biggest but one of the mistakes that was made was changing the color. I will argue that for a long time. And that is just because look at these other companies that have capitalized on their brand. They sell stuff that has nothing to do with farming or whatever, but it's got their logo on it. And I think that that, like, you know, yeah, yeah. one particular green tractor. Yeah. With you, where brand. you can, can buy underwear with their logo on it. Well, you know, yeah. That, that you can people, buy tractors with their name on them that they yeah. don't make. I mean, yeah. Exactly. 
five. I think it was five, and they figured when they put these together, they'd have 13% of the tractor market. It and that that it, it did not work out that way. Their math was wrong. They lost the loyalty. It was just a bad idea. You know, it, it should have been obvious when you got one tractor that's got more than twice the market share of the other, um, which way you should have gone. <laughs> yeah, because the even the even the mashup tractors they tried, that wasn't, I don't know. That just wasn't a great success. I don't know. Some of them lived on into the whites, you know, like the 2150 is basically still a half Oliver, half Moline combination. But yeah, they just not feel like that was enough. That was a use. I feel up like that was left. to the Minneapolis Moline. Yeah, use up yeah. stuff that's left and yeah. <laughs> try to still appeal to their their Minneapolis Moline customers. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what, uh, oh, Craig says when they are, their ass will really love you when you hit 100,000 subs. Well, that's a long way. That's to where work. the big money is. I've heard that's where the big endorsements are. But that's when you start getting free grand cards and stuff. Well, that's, we need to get there. I'm on board with that. Yeah. If I could just get a grain back, you know, just get a nice new grain back. You know. It's pretty nice. That, that um, happens around 25,000, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was no pr- promotional discount. In that I, know, I, I thought maybe that was the, yeah. Uh, Let's see. Old uh, Iron says, Chris, have you seen the 4144 for sale? Yes, I have. I saw that. Um, too. Yeah, that one's kind of, at first it was auction style and then kind of uh, reappeared with a lower price. And since then, I've talked to a collector that's familiar, and he says the, trans- the rear end had some kind of noise in it. So um, that kind of makes me feel like it's a little overpriced. It's definitely rare, but it needs it comes with a uh, repair bill. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. Maybe it was so last. I was told. I'm not going to. I don't want to yeah. ruin anybody's track. <laughs> it would probably go in a few parades. I don't know. But uh, oh, I put it thing I love. Bit. The closest thing I own to a tractor is a lawnmower. Well, that's that's fine. I mean, there's people who watch these videos that probably have never been on a tractor, but I don't know. <laughs> it's like when Bob Ross said that half of the people that watch, they weren't painting along with him. They just, they like the sound of his voice because it put them to sleep. So <laughs> that's, that's what I've tried <laughs> for, you know, I'm a sleep aid, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, my my guy, one of the guys that does my spray, and he stops by one day and he says, "Chris, I got to tell you, you've ruined my love life." And I said, "What's going on?" <laughs> and he says, "Well, um, I'll go to bed at night and I turn on the TV and I turn on YouTube, start watching your videos, and then the wife will come in and she'll say, i 'I'm not sitting in bed watching tractor videos.'" And so he says, "So I'll go to the guest bedroom that's got a TV in it, and I turn on YouTube and there I end up falling asleep." The next thing I know, it's morning and I ain't next to my wife. So you're ruining my love life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. That's uh, what IH uh, engineers said about the hydromechanical transmission trying to develop. Yep. Same problem. I mean, yeah. Uh, I probably hey, agree Ross, with the next comment, but I'm not going there. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey Ross, when are you, you going to get a white lawn boss? I actually, I have two white lawn mowers, but none of the ones that we're still from the seventies that say boss, but I don't know. You see them around for sale, but I think they're still overpriced for what they are. I mean, a 30, 40 year old lawnmower, sometimes they're pretty sacked out and people still want four or 500 bucks for one. So I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong, but as far as mowing every day, I would not buy one to mow with because zero turn, you know, once you've had that, you can't go back. I mean, zero turn lawnmowers are the way to go. So, wow, wow, yeah, we got the yeah. <laughs> I'm scrolling good through to find the good comments. Let's see. Good afternoon, guys from Benton Harbor. Hey, that's here in Michigan. We got a lot of high, a lot of highs. Yeah, we need to. I can get rid of Somebody. some of these. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some of these people disappear. You know. Airplane doctor says you got a great channel, Ross. someday you'll make the lunch, make the lunch, you'll make lunch lady really happy. <laughs> already that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Afternoon from Benton Hart. Okay, there you are. Yeah, someday. Well, yeah, iron. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> MPD built mowers are just not it. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. My family wouldn't. They only sold one or two of the white lawnmowers, and it was. It's like once MTD got their fingers in them, it was kind of like, yeah, this is not something we want to sell. Did they sell Let's something see. else then or not at all? Uh, woods. We we did. Well, of course, Woods didn't have a, for a while there, we just didn't have a mower. Um, and I know going to dealer meetings, a lot of guys would be like, well, what, uh, for, what lawn equipment are you selling? We're like, we don't. We just, you know, farm equipment. And they're like, how do you make ends meet? We can't make them living selling combines back then you know combine was 150 grand and they still couldn't make a living off from that but oh uh, they said yeah they're profit the, uh, that's one place where the uh the alice chalmers folks i think had it because those simplicity mowers were hard to beat i mean yeah they were they, they were, were built heavy from from the day one and i think they had very little trouble with them i mean they just were good made things so Oh, let's see. I like your glasses. I'm guessing he's not talking to me. Well, you know, um, this is what they gave me. I need to go yeah. to the eye doctor again. There's a pretty cute girl that works there, and she likes to, you know, bend them up to put them on my face. So I think I'll destroy these after a while and make yeah. a trip up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. Do you guys ship freight? I've known. I've done that. I have too. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing happened on Cub Cadet. They weren't the same when MTD ruined Cub Cadets, yeah. The, the yeah. Cub Cadet originals were the Cub tractor, if people don't know. Like, the rear end is the same rear end that was in, like, the full-size Cubs, I believe. And they just, you know, put shorter axle housings on it and made it low to the ground. And so there wasn't a lot you could do to destroy that in the lawnmower with a 10-horsepower engine. I mean, so. Yeah. Have you guys ever go on an airplane? I've been on an airplane, but never had to go. I have not. <laughs> I've drank some stuff that made me feel like I was on an airplane, and I never even had to leave home. <laughs> Bur 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 burrito. Burrito. Ross. Burrito. Wow, I did see Chris and Ross agree on something. But yeah, we're always fighting. <laughs> yeah, constant battle. I mean, it is. It's just. What are you going to do? Oliver man. And, well, I got to back up. You can see my hands. Yeah. Oliver man, Oliver guy. I just yeah. you know, can't agree on nothing. <laughs> so I thought of something else, too, the other day. when so I, Somebody made some comment, and it made me think of something. And what I think is interesting, if you took all of your collection and lined it up next to all the stuff I have, there would be very little duplicates in everything, which I think is kind of unbelievable in, I mean, yeah. The the amount of stuff that that is like, yeah, I'm sure there, you guys can see that bug. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get us some views. Let's see. We're at 128. You know, yeah. we'll grab an imaginary bugs until yeah. it goes up to 150. <laughs> oh, would you, uh, oh, we agree. Let's see. The old cub cadet rear end is the only one that will hold up with the diesel garden tractor pullers. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was built for a lot more than a really a garden tractor. Somebody down here had one he built as a puller and he made it look like a, a little Moline, like a, I don't know what the numbers are, like a 1050 or something and made all custom sheet metal. And that was a slick little thing, but that's what it was underneath. It was a, cub rear end with a little diesel motor of some kind and i don't know that's just fact. Uh, it's snowing in wisconsin if ross ever if ross ever got oh go ahead <laughs> yeah somebody asked me that question in person the other day and one of these days that's on the list i mean it's just one of those things i mean i got other things oh, I... right now yeah, you get that hundred thousand mark, maybe Morton will wanna, you know, throw a sponsorship your way. That would be perfectly fine. I won't refuse them when they get to the driveway. I'll even yeah. let them pick the color. <laughs> I've got places want me to sell bonsai trees in my videos. I, I, they think my viewers would really like bonsai That's a good, trees. Well, based on some of these comments we've been getting, I think the bonsai tree is it sounds like Yeah, maybe that means you to... need to get with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My. Did Oliver make did a Oliver... hand tool line? Yeah, I don't know. You you answer that one. I don't think they did, did they? 
No, they had special tools for the dealers. They did have a set of railroad tools. I remember seeing the, that. Uh, and I have searched yep, high uh, and low. I have looked at every auction and every swap meet and everything, and I have never found one that was an Oliver. I mean, I've look. I mean, picks and stuff. They said Oliver underneath on some of them, and I just have never found any. I don't know. Yeah, they're hard to come by. That was something that came with the Ann Arbor Baylor Company when they bought it. They are, they made uh, railroad tools, and Oliver kept it up for a while. Uh. See, I don't know. Did they have a, which you would probably know, did they have any sort of recommended brand of tools that they wanted you to use? Like Alice Chalmers used Bonnie tools. That was their, oh, yeah. their type um, of. I've got, some, I've got a couple of different flyers that were for dealers only. One from Snap-on, and it has an Oliver on. I could probably dig that out. You I entertain have, I everybody. Have, I have two of those as well. <laughs> I've got one that I think is Snap-on and one that is Cornwell, maybe. Yep, got the Cornwell one. Well, see, now no one has to see them. <laughs> well, that's fine. Yeah, I know what they look like. I just, yeah, I've got them. But so tough luck, the rest of you. You just have to take our that's word. That's right. We already know what we're looking at. You just got to stare at us instead. <laughs> Are there people watching? I just, I thought I was just talking to you. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, since we've done the flies in the air thing, yeah. we've gone from 128 to 143. So, you know, it's not about content. <laughs> that's right. What is cooking with the Oliver 500? Well, it's sitting in the shed. If we were up there, you could see it. It's just sitting there hanging out. I mean, one of these days when it gets warm, we'll get a bunch of stuff out again and play, but I don't know. It's hard to come home and work in my shed after working on trucks in a heated shop during the day. Yeah, that, that would be, you know, you're a little worn out from work and then to go into the cold. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> hmm. I have a friend that has a Cub Cadet Fuller with a 351 Ford running it. That that would be quite the amount of power in that small size thing there. <laughs> I, know. I don't know. But, yeah, that. the only tools I saw Oliver totally recommend were the OTC specialty tools. Um, so let's see. Yeah. Uh, the thing and the, is those 60, 1960 and 70s tractors are pushing 60 and 70 years old now by now. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's hard. Gonna be here that's hard to believe because, man, I know the other day when we were talking and you said that about the 50th birthday of the 1855 you're working on is this summer. And that's hard yep. to believe that those are 50 years old. I mean, uh, it's like yeah. just yesterday, you know, they were still, you know, people's lives yeah. and now they're. 50 years old yeah i mean i remember people bringing them in here for you know repairs and stuff because they needed them back because they were using that tractor they were the main thing yeah orchard sprayers somebody asked about that i showed that literature in a video not too long ago they built a big orchard sprayer that was a big round tube looking thing with a six-cylinder engine and them use the waukesha diesel and i've seen a couple at those I saw one at that Madison show. There was one there years ago, 2000. What was that? 17, 16 sometime. Yeah. Chris, how is the white 270 gas doing? I didn't see it plow snow this year. Hopefully we can see it at camp number two. It's the trying to mow hay. Uh, I only scraped snow with it one time and I didn't get enough footage to, uh, to basically make a video. And so I didn't end up doing anything with it. It's just, been a quite snow free winter for us here um but i am planning on putting it back on the mower and and doing attempt number two at mowing hay check out oliver 770 farm boy to see the 270 gas yeah that's the one i had worked on for him he's been using it every day but it's a lot rougher than yours i mean it's been well used mine uh, looked a little rougher when i bought it and uh the the plastic part around the headlights was broken and um, that's the same as a 285 or 2105. Anybody that's looking um, was able to get one of those, uh, the grill piece at that point, um, the screw grill screen, rather the, uh, that was getting reproduced. I got one of those, a new, a brand new one from uh, Maybaz, and I'm not sure if A&I is still making those or not, but someone was at one point. Why did you bleach your skin? You, <laughs> Well, you're so much prettier you know, when you were black. 
I don't know. <laughs> I got tired of all the glances in town and I got tired of getting pulled over all the time. So I just <laughs> thought it is a small town, right? I thought maybe it would make me sing better if I bleached my skin. So, you know, sing and dance. Like anyway. Yeah, let's see. Glenn says, I'm up to 26 toys now, sneaking up on Ross. It isn't hard when them voices go say, go ahead and buy another tractor. Oliver 270 and 285 awesome tractors. I'm looking for them. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I got the 1600 front wheel assist, I told the wife, if I was never able to get another tractor, I would be happy. So then when I bought the next tractor, she was like, you said you'd never buy another tractor. I said, no, if I never yeah. bought another yeah. tractor. Yeah. yeah. There's a yeah. big difference. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I have never seen an Oliver grain dryer. Um, I've got literature for them, but I have never ever seen a, even a picture of a real one. Yeah, I don't know. Did I start working on Dad's tractor yet? Yes, that video will be tomorrow. I took it apart, so hopefully we can get that back together in a reasonable time. But I don't know. I'm not sure, uh, Rother. Uh, family Farms. That's, Will you have a neighborhood plow day? That's my little that, neighbor boy. That's the okay. The, okay. The, yep. Thing. So he's got a. I think most deer. of the questions are aimed at you because you're the one uh, hosting the the live. Next time fine. we'll have to do it the other way. We'll have, yeah. Oh, I, I have no problems. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you live next to Route 40. I don't. Fat. That's me. Yeah. Both. Same. I mean, what, how's Freddie doing? Freddie's doing great. You know, we got. Uh, I got a. I finally got a hold of that guy. He's up in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the guy that I was, I tried several times. He's got one. He's parting out, and I finally got him to answer me. And he said to call him Monday and. Uh, you know, maybe I can get some of those parts I'm looking for. So we'll see what happens. But yeah. Ooh, Jessica, that's a girl's name. Chicken. That sounds good. I think I'll have to go to KFC after a while. So I'm, I'm, fatter. I'm fatter. I'm on 600 pound life. Well, a few more Mexican restaurants and I'll be there. I mean, yeah. yeah. Chicken burger. Oh, those are chickens. I thought they were crabs. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> a crab. They have a shampoo for that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if I I tried to zoom in. No, if I do this, it'll zoom. Ooh. Ooh, look at that tree. No. Let's see here. Oh, look. Count the few hairs I have left. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, stop, stop. All right. Better stop doing that. Would you buy a Heston tractor since they're Fiat's? I don't know. I mean, the Fiat's are good tractors, but they really don't necessarily interest me. I mean, I don't know. I guess if there's a super good deal, maybe. I don't know. Cheeseburger. Wow, Kaizen, he's a... He's fixated on that, isn't he? Yeah. This ain't a singles channel. Yeah. Find your lovers somewhere else. Let's see. What should we <laughs> block him as? Let's see. Let's do graphic violence. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Man, the people will be arriving shortly. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Jeez. You're now on a list. I yeah. don't mean it. Don't say it then. Uh, let's see. I had a few Oliver branded tools and a jack. Okay. I'm not sure of their origin. Special service tools I manage are the, my most valuable tools. Um, they had some jacks too, didn't they? Rob? Yes, they did. And I've seen those around, but I don't know. I mean, I don't have, uh, I don't have any of them. I don't know. I think that might've been a localized thing. Like, uh, I don't know, certain parts of the country, what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Yeah. 
I've been reading the comments and lost my train of thought there. So yeah, same here. <laughs> I'm not gonna read them out loud, but uh... did you sell Let's the rest see. of your corn, or are you keeping it for yourself? There's an actual. Uh, yeah. Well, I still got a, <laughs> I've still got a bin full of corn that is not the price that it would have been if I would have sold it, you know, last fall. So, yeah. See, well, I'm, Hercules, Hercules 458 off, off a generator fit on a, in a 2150. Um, do you mean 478? If that's the case, then yes, there might be some, you know, manifold changes and other slight modifications. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else is here that's relevant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think no. keeping batteries working and rear tires has to be the most expensive stuff, Ross and Chris. I like the idea, Ross, of the master switches. Please keep us up on how they work. They work good. I've used them for years. I mean, it. Like I said, if you shut the fuel off and the battery, it seems like the next time you come back, you've got fuel and battery. So I don't know. Oh, Northwest Vermont says, uh, yes, 478. Yeah, um, they're basically the same engine. Like I say, depending on the uh, a manifold arrangement, you might have to swap uh, intake and exhaust manifold. Um, some of them ran uh, generators. Uh, you probably have to change the governor because, did you say generator? Let me scroll back. Yes, um, most of them are governed at 1,800 RPM. So you'd probably have to do something with the injection pump to get the RPMs up for tractor speed. The um, uh, what other than that? Yeah. Is your 5400 plant air a no-till? Yes, it is. The cutters were off of it, I think, when I videoed it last. I need to probably try to hook that up and play with it, but never got that far. So, uh, any interest in a Woods Brothers pull type combine? Well, Grandpa actually had a Woods Brothers combine way back in the day before he got an Oliver pull type combine. And I can't say as I know anything about them other than I think that was Ford's version of combine. So, yeah. Oh, he said brochure. So uh, maybe he's got a brochure. Oh, bro okay. I get it now. I Brochure. Yeah, that would be neat to see because I've never, uh, like I said, I don't know anything about them. I just know Grandpa said they had one, and then they traded it for like an Oliver 15 or 18. I don't know which one. I'd have to ask him. I think it was an 18 because I don't think it had canvas anymore. But And then he Excuse traded me. that for this one, so. Chloe Harrison says, hi, I'm new. Well, hi, I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boss! <laughs> that, that better get you another subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Adam. Hey, Adam, how you doing? Yep. Um, Sup, Daddy. <laughs> so I'm not to that part yet. Oh man, what happened to the live streams? It's a lot different now for some reason, unless they just my phone. Um, Adam, I think that has to do with the fact that there's two of us live streaming at the same time, and so they have to do us vertical to make us fit or something. I don't know. This is the first time we've tried this, so yeah. Put your hood inside, out, and around your neck, then tuck it in. Huh? That seems oddly specific. <laughs> At return. Uh, we don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, what's the going price for a quarter of beef in your area? Hanging weight more precisely. Um, I actually just bought a quarter of beef and um, hanging weight. Now you got oh, 171 pounds. What I end up paying. I paid them three and a quarter a pound for it is what uh, I had on hanging weight. So that gives you any idea. I, I really can't answer that because <laughs> I usually just sell them to the stockyard and then butcher one for ourselves. So I couldn't, I don't know. I haven't bought one for a while, but I'm saying that way. I'd have yeah. To yeah. It's like <laughs> research that. 
My grandpa had a 70 on steel. My uncle always said that it happily dig to China if you didn't pay attention. Is this a concern? Well, I've only drove one tractor on the tiptoe steel, and that's this 60, and I've never taken it out and tried that, but I could see how it could probably get itself in a pretty big mess in a hurry. But I was at a plow day that had a 70 on steel, and that guy spun out, and boy, she went down fast. That's what it was saying. <laughs> Speaking of 5,100 corn planter, how much alternator do you need to run them? Well, the 5,100, none. <laughs> no, but I think they did actually make looking in the books. You could have got a 5,100 that had electric blowers. Oh, uh, really? I, don't know. I have yes. never noticed that. I, I, I noticed that here a while back looking through the books. Now, I don't know that I've ever seen one ever in person. Uh, so I don't know about that, what you'd have to do. I would like to find, and I wish I knew where one was. And the closest I ever came to finding one was, uh, Jake has a YouTube channel, you know, uh, his name's oh, Ziggler. Yeah. Jake Ziggler. He said they had one and then they just scrapped it a, a year or two ago, but they had that PTO mounted unit that you could put on no. the alternator to get the current to run the blowers and i wish i could find that because i think that's neat too but i don't know it, my uncle had and i'm trying to remember if they were i think they only might have only been planting three or four rows with their 5400 they pulled that with an old style 88 and they put an alternator on it and um that was enough to run the four rows i don't know i mean it wasn't it was just a regular delco uh you know 10 si type alternator so uh Maybe somebody amp just, the max, but. somebody just commented that the book says seventy two amp. So. Uh -oh. Let's see. Are you going to put that B through its paces? That's I a question that for you. Have a B. Yeah, you had one flying around your head a while ago. What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> that's. that's what he's, I don't even see that comment. There it is. Oh, that's the little neighbor boy. Are you going to put that B through its paces? Well. I'd like to take it out and do something with it, but I don't know. The uh, I was just talking to my uh, cousins that have that deer combine that combine for me. They collect two cylinders. Someday we'll have to go over there and check that out. But anyway, I was talking to one of them last night, and he said their eventual goal would be they've got a, a good size field, and they'd like to take all of them out there at once and be doing something with all of them in this big field. So. If that would ever happen, I would probably load it up and take it over there and do something too. But I don't know. So, oh, so Dan says he's charging three seventy five uh, for Hol Holstein calves or five hundred bucks. That must be a three seventy five hanging weight. Um, it was a good friend of me that sold this, so I'm not sure if he was charging everybody three and a quarter or just me. So, but that's what I paid. Uh. 5,100 with electric blowers. I've seen pictures. Someone else says that. My brother. Hmm. Yeah. Bro I learned something today. Electric blow. Yeah, I remember reading that. I don't know how common that was. but And I can't remember either. Were they individual unit blowers or was it two two rows per blower? I can't remember. I, That's the way I that Alice, no Chalmers, <laughs> Alice Chalmers made air planters that did it that way. They had electric blowers, but it fed like two row units. But I was thinking that on the 5100, that was how it was. But uh, uh, is, is Jake back on YouTube? I don't think so. No, I think he's pretty well. I mean, he's got kids now, and I think he's busy. And they they sold a lot of their stuff that was on YouTube. I mean, I think he's still got his tractors and stuff, but the combines are gone. So I don't know. I mean, I think he must actually have a life. Whereas the two of us. Jake's <laughs> 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 so. the smart one here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Lucy's better says y'all are hot. Well, it takes a smart gal to know, you know, quality stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the optional four row. It started with for the six and eight row, according to the book for the four row. I found um, I'm from Massachusetts. Love your guys' channels. Thank you, Scott. In the blue, individual bar. Yes, Do you have any problems with the diesel fuel if the tractor sits too long? I've had that problem one time in that Super 77 diesel, and it 
it actually it turned to like a, I don't know, it's almost like Jello. I don't know, and I had to work to clean it all out to get it to run again, and I was able to do it, but yeah. Yeah, mine was like a varnish. <laughs> I've had ones that are, you know they started getting varnishy, but nothing so bad that it ruined stuff. We had a 600 AC with blow around it. Yeah, the air champs, I think, are what they call them. Have either of you ever gotten a channel strike? I have not gotten a channel strike. I have gotten copyright strikes because of people falsely claiming that they owned the copyright to things that I was doing. And then I had to fight it. And then it took a month. And they said that you would get the money that you made during that time if they ruled it in your favor. But I have never seen that. So that is about yeah, the problem. I've yeah um yeah they start noticing you uh, once you start making some money and there's it's not even the artists that are doing it it's like some third party and as long as they turn over a, a small portion of their proceeds to the original artist they can claim this copyright so it's basically scammers doing it yeah but it, it it's a bum deal it's not fair because like a lot of the stuff i use is specifically copyright free and they still do it so yeah. Uh, yeah i got on a couple of things that were supposed to be royalty free and just a pain in the butt a couple of them and, i removed chunks of those video edited it out or uh, uh turned it to sign muted it and yeah that's really although that might actually help the views go up on our videos if they just mute large portions of it you know I don't, yeah we just <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, you mean uh, diesel goes see, bad? Yeah. Yes. The modern diesel is garbage and it will go bad. Yeah, it definitely without that sulfur in there, it doesn't seem to last near as long as it used to. Not as bad as the gas. <laughs> now the gas is is very bad. Sadness. It will disappear and you will have either no gas or you will have a five gallon jug of water is what you'll have. So my uncle collect me and my uncle collect dollars and whites. We got five whites and ten Olivers restored. A couple sixty sixes so far. I wrote a story in the magazine for November December twenty two. I'm sure that I read that story then when it came out. Neighbor boy says he hit two hundred and fifty nine subs. Awesome. That's good. Good to see you live. Can like go live. <laughs> go live and have these uh, kids pestering him. <laughs> this uh, this is a new thing. I've never had this on any of the live ones I did before. But if it appears Me neither. in the shorts feed, that makes sense. I mean. Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably where we're getting it from. My dad brought his 5288 row crop from dealer in Clinton, Wisconsin with cultivators that you talked about a few videos ago. Thanks, guys. Oh, the. Hey, uh, crazy uh, day. Crazy Dave, either you going to the national show? I I don't know. That's usually about the time of our fair in the summer. Um, know. it's not until September this year. Oh, really? September uh, the weekend is the same weekend as the bridge crossing here in Michigan. So and where's it? Where's it at this think, time? Uh, Central Missouri, Boonville, Missouri. Boonville, Missouri. Yep, uh, the weekend of September seventh. So. Uh, I don't think I'll be there. Oh, well. Let's see. What have I seen on the gearbox on an Oliver 64 drill? Is There is on seals on the shaft. Is this correct or am I crazy? The, the 64 has an enclosed gearbox, but I don't think I've ever had it apart. The, the 50, was it a 54 that was basically the same drill, but the gearbox is open. And I've only seen one of those in person. I don't know. I have literature on both, but you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, totally. Um, from Pipe Kits, is it you guys ever seen or met Wisconsin Oliver now? He's met him. Yeah. He, he's, yeah, he met him. Um, in... <laughs> I met him out in Iowa and I saw him walk into a porta potty and he didn't see me. And so I went up and started rocking the porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why you've got the video uh, he made a video i sent him a clip of me on alan 1650 kind of pushing something off the screen and then he had the porta potty rock and that, that's where that <laughs> came from oh my 
Oh, I'm looking for an Oliver Baylor in Connecticut. As you know, where there's nothing cool within 400 miles. That's true. It's hard to find the stuff you're looking for when you're looking for it. Hmm. Have you heard about blending 100 LL into your gasoline in your tanks for winter storage? What is 100 LL? I don't know. It's better when you hear, an hear animal noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. We're going to start making out. Hey, boy, you're going to have to come to the Midwest to find a baler. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, man. Hey, it's probably not done in great quantities along the coast. I don't know. Or well, I just don't that. think Oliver had an East Coast presence. Not really. Maybe like in the Carolinas, but that's probably about it. Adam says, yes, you're in the shorts feed, which is worrying the degenerates in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's something bad for all the people here right now. Yeah. Degenerates. <laughs> how far apart do we live from each other probably about five hours apart six hours yeah. it's yeah when i, when I went to, when i went to school in ann arbor it took it was supposed to take six hours to get there the fastest i ever did it was three and a half we won't talk about what <laughs> wow. sort of laws were happening there. i did melt the intake <laughs> manifold on my car so you know they shouldn't oh, make wow. those out of plastic but no, anyway. no, I've seen a few of them. It didn't seem like a good idea. No. Oh, aviation gasoline, 100, low lead. Oh, there you go, low lead. Yeah, okay. Um, um, I run, uh, I, I run uh, what is it, premium, which was usually like 92 at our local, local gas station in all of mine, and I've had a lot less trouble with it going bad. Um, everything runs better. It costs more, but I figure by the time I buy a can of seafoam and putting it tank full of gas or whatever i got just as much money as if i bought premium in the in the first place so it that's what i do now uh oh oh you're moving i saw your eyes blink yeah <laughs> freeze up <laughs> no I'm I'm, the, I'm I'm trying to read all these comments <laughs> oh man i tell you uh, i think we've about yeah i wouldn't uh, what was it when uh when everybody was doing school by Zoom during COVID, mm -hmm. um, there was a thing where someone would change their profile picture to uh, buffering, and then the teacher would never bother them because they yeah, thought <laughs> they think it's that way. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but I think we pretty well covered the basis of this experiment. So. Oh we've wait, wait! This. We got you, 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 you. We done this. I'd for read that. Eighty-seven minutes. So. I yeah, know. I got an hour and twenty-five showing on my clock. So Let's I think uh, Mr. Beast, oh my goodness, say I of happiness. With if that's the why instead of an angel, it's, I the, think it's that's a, a trick. Restaurant. Yeah, I think it's a trick. Yeah, you don't, I don't think that's that. the real Mr. Beast. Oh my goodness, I can't figure out why I don't have much fuel trouble. Must be because I'm near the tank farm. If you it's want fuel trouble, that's it's not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! They love well, my wig. You. you like my wig? That's good. I worked yeah. hard. Worked hard to make this. So. Mm -hmm. oh, I always yeah, like it when when you together. when you question the authentic authenticity of a person, and then they argue with, "Trust me." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Yes, of course. Why, yeah, why would I doubt you? Yeah, sure. That's good nope, Scott, small farming and things is later, dudes. But you did say something about ending this. Excellent yeah, use of my I, time. I was thinking that that's probably everybody's had their fill. Yeah, um, I was going to put on a hat since everybody liked my wig so much. But my seed supplier might not like me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks Trust for all me, the videos, bro. you guys. You both taught me a lot. You're welcome. Like I've said before, I'm amazed that people watch any of this, but there seems to be some people who enjoy it. So, you know. Uh, yeah, let's see. You are an amazing Mr. Bees. <laughs> Imagine um, trying to give give a million dollars and you two are like, that's fake. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> well, neither of us is Russ, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. You know? oh, now he's saying I'm actually Mr. Yeast. Mr. Yeast. <laughs> That's explains explains his infectious personality. That's right. <laughs> Hard to believe. 
Oh man, I probably should let this go because yeah, we're really uh, pulling them in now, aren't we? Okay. No, I'm Mr. Yeast. We know how this works now. Maybe we can schedule one sometime when you know there will be actual people that follow us in greater quantities than just the you know yeah the other crowd here. So we're anyway, getting stuck with moron and dummy was hilarious, Ross. Yeah, I need to work on another one of those sometime, but. All of that extra stuff takes time, and that's something I don't have. So. It does. I don't know. But anyway. Thanks, Hugh. We'll call this one here, and, you know, I guess it was yeah. 146 viewers about continuously, so 130. No, it just went to 137. Yeah. What did you do? I don't know. I started talking, so. All right. Well, I'd say let's call this one here, and. We'll see you. Ooh, in the hey, next crazy Dave says he. Crazy Dave says he'd be a moderator. We might need that to rate this. Oh yeah. Going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. It yep. was fun. We'll have to do it again in the future because we can't right. do it in the past. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>